we're going to play uh, a tune which uh, is not a Dixon tune, but it's in the same kind of idiom as the Dixon music. Um, it's it's um, a type of tune which is not played much nowadays. It's a, it's a hornpipe in three time rather than four time. And the strange thing about this tune, just draw your attention to our friend, we have a bat circulating. There's two or three of them. Two or three of them, right. The, the strange thing about this tune, uh, which uh, is a genuine 18th century tune, is it was obviously written to be played by Morag and myself because it's called Old Age and Young. <laughs> <laughs>
going to sit down just to avoid Batman. <laughs> you know that, that bat has slept peacefully above that door all day while we've been in here playing bagpipes. So it's obviously you lot. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a piece from the William Dixon manuscript, um, which is, is very old. It was old in William's time. But we still know it now. Um, and you'll all know it. I won't tell you what it's known as now, but I'll give you a musical clue at the start. Um, William knew it as Canny Willie Foster. Willie Foster was a parliamentary candidate for... Is it Bam Berwick? Bamber. Bamber. Gamma the B. The most used. corrupt e election in British history, apparently. Okay. Mm -hmm. So far. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Foster, the mystery tune at the start. style. Um, it's full of these fast runs and variations and, and things like that. Um, but there was one tune that appeared in William's book which kind of stands out from all the rest. And popular at the time in the early, late 1600s, early 1700s was French dance called a minuet. And they appeared in lots of fiddle collections. And one, of, one of them appears in, in William's book. It really stands out. So I'm going to play, play that one. Um, it's called, is it King? Edward II. Edward II. 
I don't know why. Um, the second tune I'm going to play is another one which stands out in a different collection. Um, later in the 1700s and the early 1700s, one of the tune types that became really popular were marches, patriotic marches. Um, I presume it was because of Napoleonic Wars or, or whatever. Um, and they kind of stood out from the tradition as well. Um, so the second one is, is written by John Peacock, who, who made a collection of music in, in Newcastle in around 1800, 1805. Um, the tune that he wrote actually appears later in the tune book, book, book of Robert Buick, who was the son of Thomas the, the Engraver. Um, it's 
Um, from the Dixon manuscript, it's Apprentice Lads of Anak, and I think it's probably the most sort of widely known um, tune that's found in the manuscript. And actually, the version that's there is surprisingly similar to the, the version that you hear played um, all over the place nowadays. So, um, anyway, I'll play the manuscript version. And after that, there's a dance tune called Kissed Her Under the Coverlet, which is from the manuscript of a fiddle player called William Vickers, um, who was from Northumberland. It's a wee bit later um, than the, uh, the time of Dixon, about a century later than that. But actually then, in the second half of this concert, you're going to hear um, a much slower tune, um, which is in the Dixon manuscript, which um, is basically the same, same tune, but just about recognisable as the same tune. So here we go.